Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about the round tool. So after you set up your primary surfaces, it is time to put some fillets on it to refine the model a little bit. So uh, the round tool is the most basic fillet tool. It, uh, it is a very easy to use and is a very quick uh, when you're trying to put fillets on it. However, it does have some limitations. Um, I'll be explaining more a little bit a little bit more about continuity, but uh, it is limited to tangent continuity. So let's say you are you want to do more refined class A surfacing, round till is going to give you some limitations. So um, in order to use the round tool, you'll find the tool under surfaces and right here, round. So just double click on it. Oh, let me just turn it off. Okay, so in order to use the round tool, all you have to do is click on the edge that you want to put the fillet on. So let's say I want to put a fillet on here and you'll see this uh, manipulator right here so this um, with this one you can change the location and the size of the fillet so right now the size this uh, curve represents the size which is a little bit big so I'm just gonna reduce that a little bit so right now I think the default is at 100 so I'll, let me just reduce it to let's say 10 and I'm just gonna say build and you'll see that we now uh, have a fillet a size 10, 10 mil radius fillet. Now you can also move this uh, manipulator around. So let's say you want to move this a little bit to this way. So you can just grab, grab the handle and just drag it with your left mouse button. And if you want to make it a little bit different size, so you can add a second handle by just clicking on this green curve, uh, green curve right here. And you can move this. Oh, so let's say you accidentally created this so you can remove this. So all you have to do is click on uh, hold shift and click on the manipulator like this and it's gone. So uh, let's drag this to the end and let's make this a little bit big. So maybe 20 and you say build and voila. And you have a variable fillet like this. But let's uh, add some fillet to the other corners too. So I'm just going to remove this by clicking, uh, sh pressing and hold the shift key. And I'm just going to remove this one, uh, update. And okay. So right now, the, uh, one of the limiting factors of the round tool is you actually have to revert back, to, uh, then click on the curve again. So now I'm, going to, I'm just going to click on the surface edge here and surface edge here. So I'm just going to make them all the same size. So I'm going to modify them to back to 10. This one also 10. Just I'm just going to type right here, enter, and I'm just going to say build. And it's super, super quick. Now, the only problem is the ball corner is a little bit uniquely shaped. Of course, you can modify this. So if you want to access uh, access the tool again, all you have to do is Control Shift and Middle Mouse button, Query the History, click on the fillet, and you can also uh, adjust the type of ball, a ball corner that you want right here. So there's... There are several different um, variations that you can have. So let's say you want to make this, uh, uh, you want to put fill on all sides. So let me just revert and I'm just gonna go around and click on all the edges like that. Like that and I'm just gonna say build and look at how quickly you can put a fillet on all the edges. Okay, how, now, however, this, uh, the round tool only works if the surfaces are touching. So let's, let me show you an example. So I'm just gonna put this in layer one, I'm gonna turn it off. So same cube, however, I just misplaced the surface just by hair. Well, look at what happened. So let me just use the round tool again. And I try to click on here, and I to 
try to click on here. Because of the gap, because these two surfaces are not positional to each other, I cannot put a fillet on it. Now, this edge, I can put a fillet on it because they are positional, like this. But on this edge or this edge where there's a slight gap, I cannot put a fillet on it. Now, in order to mitigate this, uh, you would have to either move, trim, or do something. So let me just uh, project and trim this one so that the surfaces are actually touching right now. So if I check the continuity on this, you will see that it is T. Uh, actually, let me check for position. So I'm just gonna check for position. So I'm gonna check for position and you'll see that it has a green P, which means it's positional. So now I should be able to put a round fillet on it. So uh, you see that I was able to click on it and I was able to build a fillet. But because of this edge is still not matching, I will not be able to put a fillet on it unless I modify it so that it's positional. And that's a round tool. Okay, so that concludes this lesson and thank you guys for watching.